Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at this. This is the Costway Steam Cleaner, as you can see right there. And model number, it's EP24434US. So that's this right here, EP24434US-BL by Costway. So it's um, definitely not an appealing name. It doesn't um, doesn't appeal at all. In particular, the name Costway sounds cheap. But let's open it up anyway. Okay, so this is what you get. And let's take it out of the plastic. But this is so weird right here. Never seen anything like that. It even brings gaskets. Oh, I hope I don't have to do anything with that for now. So let's open everything up. Okay, so here we are. Um, this is all the stuff that comes with it. So let's um, let's see if we can do anything with this without without the instructions. And I'm not optimistic. Here's where the water goes. Remember, this is a steamer, a steam cleaner. So you'll put the water in here. And it's heavy metal, wow. It's almost like an automobile part. And this is the um, release. I'm impressed with that. So, hmm, I think I'm gonna have to look in the instructions. Cause I don't know what goes over here. Yeah, let me look at the instructions. Okay, so I did look over the instructions and um, this is how this works. This is the floor brush or um, this is for um, steaming the floor. As long as the floor is able to take heat and um, let's undo it and then let's put it together again. <coughs> you pull this out. And this comes out like that. And this is the towel that they provided. So you have to fold it in half like that. Okay, so you fold it in half and then you put this like that. I'm going to turn it around so you can see. So you put that in the middle. And then you fold it like that. And clamp it down. Do the same for that part. And do the same for this part right here. And finally over here. So it's fairly easy to do. That's um, this is from the table. It was actually clean. And um, this you can either directly, well this is the floor steamer. So let's go and let's talk about the other accessories. This is an extension. You get two of them because you can put one behind the other. This right here is the uh, clothing steamer. This right here is the window steamer. Um, this right here is the sealant for the floor steamer. This goes with the, right here with the windows, um, for the clothing steamer, I should say. And this is the spout that you get. You get one of these. And, um, well, you actually get two, but the other one is permanently attached to the vacuum. So we can just say that we get one. And then you get some nozzles. You get, I believe, you get a lot. You get a total of five. I don't think you need that many. And for the most part, they're just, they're the same, but they have different tensions slightly. And there's a metal one. This is, you got to be careful with this one because this one's metallic. So it can poke you. And then you get a measuring cup to measure, um, how many milliliters you want to 
poor in there. And the instructions do say that um, for for the longest duration, you have to use 1500 milliliters. If you look over here, it'll say 1500. And that'll last you 43 minutes. You also do get a spare of this should you use, should you lose one of these. Or from here, then they give you this. So you have to keep this. Don't throw it away. Keep it with the instructions. Now let's go to the, the machine itself. So um, here's another accessory. This goes over here like that. You can set it like that if you want. That's an option. And uh, back here, you can set this up like that. This is for the cord, for the power cord. And you don't have to set it here if you want to. If you don't want to, you can pull this out and set the um, set this directly like that. So you do have those two options. You can either do it directly like that, but if you put an attachment there, then you're gonna need you're gonna need this. If you have an attachment there, and then you you just put it like that. Okay, so we have covered all the accessories. So let's just look at the device itself, and um, let's take a look at it. At the front, you don't have much. Here's one of the one of those. So you get a total of six. I was wrong. I said five. I don't know why you need that many. So on the front, you don't have much. You just have the hose and this. On this side, you don't have much. Kind of hard to move around. On the back, let me temporarily move this. You do have the power button, which is covered by a some sort of silicone thing. You can turn that on and off. And also on the back, you do have this right here. We we already saw before. And it does say that you should be careful when you pull this out because there's going to be steam. If you turn it on, there's going to be a lot of steam. So they can, this can get in your face. This is where the water is going to go. So you do get a special spout. You do not want to lose this. Because if you lose this, this is going to be very difficult for you to pour any water in there. Uh, remember, you do need uh, 1500 milliliters in there. So this is very special, especially designed for this device. And like I said, it's very sturdy and I'm impressed by the sturdiness of this. Well, I guess it has to be because it's under pressure. Let me close that. So let's keep looking at it. <clears throat> on the side, on this side, you, you do have um, this right here. Those two things, and those are indicators of how much water you have in there. So according to the instructions, um, when you power the unit on, um, this should turn on right here, and, uh, and this will turn on red if uh, you're low on water and you have to refill it over here that tank so that's the um that's what the unit is all about so now let's look at this right here you do have some uh safety features here this is the lock and unlock i know you can't see it real well but that's the lock and unlock if you have a child and over here you have the intensity. So right, that right there is minimum. And that's maximum. Okay, so we've covered the device itself. So now let's see how the um, accessories connect to the device. Um, I did forget to mention that on the bottom you do have wheels. There are three wheels that allow this to move around. Let me um let me turn on the light. Okay, so it should be visible now. 
there's one of the wheels right there and then the other two now as far as the accessories you can either connect it directly to the spray hose like this so that's a direct connection and to the nozzle you can connect one of these and it snaps real nicely into place so like I said you have this adjuster and then you have the safety switch over here so that's very nice so when you when you lock it like that you can't move the switch the slide switch but when you unlock it you can so la now let's look at the extent the extension so let's take this out and here's the ex here's one of the extensions so you can connect it like that and then you can connect um, a nozzle or you can make the double extension which is like this so here's our first extension and here's our second extension so it's basically one behind the other like that so you can reach real high like you can touch the ceiling with it I don't know if you can hear that okay okay so the next thing I want to show you is the clothing cleaner if you want to steam your clothes and get rid of all those wrinkles I'm not using the extension because I don't think you need it for clothing and um, so you just connect it like that um, so this is where you start steaming your clothes now if you want to do the um, if you want to use the window steamer this is how you do it I'm gonna use it I'm gonna I'm gonna demonstrate it without the uh, extension because it's not gonna show on the video but normally for the window steamer you would have the extension either just one of them or even both so the first thing you do is put the clothing steamer like that and the next thing you do is attach the um, window steamer so you just bring it like that and then you press and there you go so now you can steam the windows it's like kinda like this okay so the next thing I want to show you is the floor steamer okay so this is the floor steamer right here and like I, I showed you previously you do get this towel you fold it in half like this it's been folded in half and then you press this onto the center like that and then you bring each one of these things over and you close you close like that make sure everything's perfect and you do the same thing for the other side <clears throat> you come in here and don't be afraid because this will not hurt you if it were to catch you like that it doesn't do anything so it's not dangerous even though it does look dangerous and then you bring the cover which is this and you place it over like that um, the next thing you want to do is bring your extension your two extensions just to be um, accurate which is this these are the two extensions so remember you get these two and they have to be connected one behind the other so let's do that right now and there you go so now let's connect it to the floor steamer so here are our two extensions and you connect it this way to the floor steamer there you go so the last thing you want to do is connect the other end to the hose
So we bring the host over here and we make the connection. And there you go, it needs to have to click. Okay, there there we go. It's ready. So if you take a look at it, <clears throat> take a look at it. I know it's kind of awkward. But this is it. Okay, so before we go out there and test this, um, I do want to mention that the um, instructions do say to use clean water every time. So any water that you pour in there has to be clean. That should be fairly obvious. I mean, good good common sense would tell you that you have to use clean water. Don't put dirty water in there. But there's another recommendation. And the recommendation is that you use um, distilled water if you have access to that. If not, so right here it'll tell you the type of water that you want to use. Um, it also says that it's going to take about 10 minutes. See, the water in the boiler will be ready for steam cleaning within 8 to 10 minutes, depending on how much water is in there. So this is something you have to wait for. And they do give you these gloves right here for you to wear. Because they don't want you to get, um, they don't want you to get burned. Well, it's just one glove. So you're going to want to be careful with the uh, steam. You don't want to get burned. So like I said, my recommendation is, uh, distilled water. If not, you can use, uh, filtered water. But always use clean water. Do not inject any liquids in there. No cleaners, no detergents, nothing. It has to be pure water. And lastly, it does say that if you want to clean this, because there's going to be some mineral buildup, um, you're going to have to use, here, right, right here it says um, mineral buildup. You're going to want to use um, the cup to measure 250 millimeters of vinegar and 250 millimeters of water so it's going to be a 50 50 mix and you're going to put it in there the solution in the boiler and allow it to stand for 40 minutes so the cleaner has to be powered off all the time you're not going to be heating anything up if you do that you're going to damage everything after that you can drain the water from the boiler and refilled uh, with uh, fresh clean water just for the purpose of draining out all that vinegar because you don't want that vinegar to be in there because it's going to make everything smell real bad but that's going to take a long time for it to build up so if you want to uh, push that back as far as possible you're going to be using that um, distilled water okay so one last thing that I um, did read on the instructions is that when you open this there's going to be a lot of heat coming, I mean steam coming. So the right thing to do is to press that dot there. That'll release some of the heat. But you're going to have to be wearing this. If you don't wear this, you are going to get burned. I promise you will be burned. So if you're not going to use this, um, dial 91 and keep your finger on the 1. So once you open this, there will be that steam coming out. So I wrapped up the cord, as you can see, and let's head downstairs.
Pero está bonito. Pero si lo suelto se apaga. Sí. Okay, folks, so we have reached the end of this review, and um, I've been using this product, and I think it's a great product. Um, I do love how the handle feels, the high quality of all the materials, the construction, everything feels solid and high quality. I like how that push button, um, you can push it to activate the steaming, or you can use that um, slide switch to keep it on so you don't have to be pushing it all the time. Um, so it's a great product. I don't think it has any flaws. It has a, um, more access, more accessories than you actually need. So it has more stuff than you need. I'd rather have too much than too little. So overall, I would give it, um, I'd say a five stars out of five. Can't, can't see any flaws in it. So I can't think of any flaws. So yeah, I give it a 5 stars out of 5. It's a great product. So thank you for watching, subscribe, and thumbs up.